Okay, so this video is gonna be about how to set up your iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro or Pro Max. Here are two simple ways to do. If you have another iPhone or an iPad those which have the same iCloud account, you can use that to sign in even faster than just typing the whole iCloud account and the passcode. So in my case, I'm gonna do it with my iPad. So I'm gonna show you. So this is how you first do that. And then you do, then you choose your region. And then you have the appearance option. Like let's say if you're an old human and you just don't have the eyes to just look at the smaller little things in the home screen or anywhere else or in the messages, then you can go for this slider and you can slide it all the way to large. So in that scenario, it will be quite a bit large, like all the text and everything will appear larger than usual one on, on someone else's iPhone. So that means that everything is going to be larger for your kind of thing. But that's not me, so I'm going to go with the default one, which is much more smaller. So it will give you more screen space. It's either way good and bad. Anyway, click on the continue and then you have this place. Here you can do it two different ways. One, as I said, with another device and one without another device. Means you have to type everything. So I'm going to do it with my iPad. So how I'm going to do it? Well, just you place the phone. Just don't do anything. Take your iPad, unlock it, and get it closer to your phone. And immediately, there's going to be a pop-up like this. You're going to click on Continue right here. After that, it will ask you to use your camera. For example, mine, I, my iPad camera will actually scan the QR code, which is a, it's actually a skew, kind of a QR code, Apple's way. It's pretty cool. That will scan it. And then you have everything almost set up, like in terms of the iCloud account. Now it will ask you to continue on your iPad to actually set it up for me or someone else, like if I have a child or something like that. So here I'm going to click on set up for me and then it will tell me to switch on to the iPhone and just do the everything else. Now here, you don't actually have to put the password in. So what you're going to do is very simple. You're going to type the passcode of your iPad. That's only it. So in my case, I'm going to type it that's, I guess, yeah, I had to press the next button. I couldn't see it because of the camera. I'm sorry. Uh, so now this is it. Your iPad will still need to be on the screen. Like, as you can see, I just put it in the background. That's why. So now it will take certain time. This is actually the time when uh, your phone is actually getting connected to the Apple servers. And then it will just do the you know checks and all those stuff. So it will actually give you an option right after certain minutes. So Depending on when you are doing it, certain times it can take more than a minute. Certain times it can take even like less than 30 seconds. Okay, now it shows me software update. Okay, so it's going to say like update now or update later. In this case, I'm going to do update later because it's not an important thing. Now then it comes to the data and privacy. Here, I'm just going to say, just if you have the option to skip it, you will. But in this case, we have to continue. And then there is a the face ID. Now you have to set up the face ID. So as you can see, this is the uh, infrared camera that is already lighting up. You can't really see the naked eye though. Now let's click on the continue and then get started and it will scan me. Okay, you can't really see me. So let me do it like this way. Okay, so I'm going to be like this. I hope you'll be able to, I hope you're getting this, right? Okay, so use, uh, don't use face ID with mask. So I'm going to click on the don't use face ID with mask because it's something that you can set up later as well. Now, Face ID is something that is saying set up. So now let's continue. And then it will say transfer your data and apps. So now if you're coming from an older iPhone, then you already have iCloud backup done. If that is not the case, then it's going to be a new device. But if you already have another device, let's say you already have an iPad. So you kind of have a backup, but the iPad backup is not similar to the iPhone backup. So you can't really use the iPad's backup in an iPhone. You have to have an iPhone backup to do that. So for me, I'm going to click on from iCloud backup because there are many other options. Uh, I forgot to show you. There's from Mac or PC, from Android, from another iPhone. Don't transfer anything if you don't just want to start it from fresh. And then there is the iCloud backup. For me, I'm going to click on the iCloud backup. So now I put my iCloud and everything else. Now I'm getting a code on my iPad. Okay. So I have to allow it first on the iPad. And then it will show me a code. Okay, I entered the code. Now, yeah, it's showing my name. It's showing stuff. I don't know why it asked me. Like, literally in the last time I did it, it actually did it automatically. But I just don't know. Maybe something else. Anyway, if you have an iPad then or another device that will show uh, something like 
uh, another iPhone is trying to sign in on this play in this place. So we show your location and then you will click allow and then it will show the, the code. So now this is a beautiful animation though. Really loving it. Now, one other thing is that if you have like a older phone with banking applications that were signed in, you have to re-sign in. Certain things will not be signed in automatically. Certain things will be. Now you can see there is an iPhone 11 backup that, that was my last phone. So here I click on the show me all the backups. Now there is an iPhone 11 backup on June 8th. Now this is when I had iOS 16. This is the iOS 17 backup because I was enrolled to the beta. I, I just don't really like it. Uh, it drained the battery health quite a bit. Not recommended. Anyway, that's not the point here. You click on this and then you click on this. Don't. And then, yeah, here's a simple thing. When it says update your iPhone automatically, just don't do it. Only download automatically because you just don't need your phone to get updated automatically. Now, this is emergency SOS feature that is new to the new iPhone. So, okay, now it's going to restore everything from the iCloud. It depends on the network and also how much it was like uh, the last backup was determined how much time it will take. But it will usually take like 15, 20 minutes mostly for most cases. But yeah, we will have to wait. Now, if you're thinking about this specific wallpaper, then yeah, you can actually find it. This is Agate Cities 1 wallpaper on my website. I will also link it down below so you can easily find it, grab it. These are all 8K wallpapers, so you can use them on your iPhone, iPad, a Mac or any PCs or even a 6K studio display or anything like that. I'm going to tell you two more things that you should know is that one, you have to have a Wi-Fi to just connect it easily because I haven't even used a SIM card yet. Now, in my region, talking about the SIM card, in my region, I have a SIM card slot. Maybe in your region, you might not have SIM card slot. So in that case, you need to have your older iPhone right beside it so that it will automatically be able to transfer the, you know, like instead of an iPad, if you have the iPhone with uh, eSIM, just you will need to click on the setup cellular or setup data, and that's it. It will transfer the eSIM from old iPhone to the newer one. Now, in case you're thinking, you can also set up the SIM card inside the settings just after doing it without the SIM card in it. And for me, I'm going to put the SIM card in right now because I forgot about it in the first place. Okay, so it's on the lock screen now. So the only thing you have to do is just go here and then you will see all the applications are still getting downloaded, all of the applications. So it took about like the base iCloud backup took about one and a half hours or so, but the phone will still take quite a long time to download all these four, 5.4 gigabyte or so files. Like these are the application files. And then I will have to go through every single one of the applications to see which one is signed in and which one isn't because the banking applications and WhatsApp and stuff like that will need a re-sign in, but other applications will automatically be signed in. So yeah, it will take just a bit more time. And that's probably it. And if you want to see more videos on the iPhone 15 Plus, including the unboxing real life battery test and also camera comparison plus our seven day review, then yeah, come back to this channel or subscribe to this channel. And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website. Definitely visit my website, joindavid.com, link down below. So yeah, that's about it. Until the next one, bye and take care.